Okay guys and welcome back to another video on how we are going to be doing more things with the PS4 on the new Jailbreak 4.05. So today I will be showing you how to jailbreak any PS4 that is on 4.05 or below whether or not it has been actually uh, connected to the internet or not and uh, you can do this through the normal web browser if you'd like or you can also do this through the user guide. Now, this is going to be based more for the people who are just unboxing their PS4s now and haven't yet patched their uh, web browser fully so that they can use the uh, normal web browser. And we're going to be using the new version of the exploit. So not Spectre Devs, but IDC's one. So I'll teach you guys all about this now. And um, to get started, we will need to download some files. So firstly, we're going to be downloading the FTP payload so I will have a link to this in the description you can see it here secondly we will be needing to download Python as we need this to run the exploit so make sure you download Python 3.0 so 3.6.4 is the latest don't um, don't use the old one or else this exploit or this um, actual program that we're going to use won't work you will also need to be downloading FileZilla and you will also need to download HXD now, um, while you guys do that, I just need to get another file that I didn't actually put here for you guys to download. So I'll be back in just one second. Okay, so hope you guys uh, got all that sorted in the meantime. And the last file we need to download is this PS4 exploit host. So this comes with everything you need. It comes with the actual PS4 exploit. It comes with both IDCs and Spectre Devs one included and packaged together. Uh, this will also come with a like a few things that you can work with as well to make it easier for you. So this this will make it pretty much as easy as you can. Now, um, just to let you know, guys, this tutorial is going to be for PC only, unless you uh, have a Mac that can dual boot or you guys know how to use Wine, you can follow along. But um, otherwise, you will need a PC for this. Now. After you've downloaded all these files here, make sure that you save them all to a folder. So I've just got a folder I'll show you now. So it just looks like this with all my files inside it. So as you can see here, the PS4 exploit host file, which is this one here, the folder. And um, you guys want to go and install everything. So make sure you install FileZilla. You don't need to use this one. Like I'll show you a workaround. You can have it if you want it, but you don't need it. Um, you definitely need this, so make sure you install this with uh, the default settings, let it go through and do its thing. And um, this is just a file you can put in a folder, I'll show you how to edit that later. So um, go ahead and do that, and uh, pause the video if you need, because I'm going to go ahead and keep going, okay? So, next thing you're going to want to do is, after you've gone and done all of that, you should have um, Python installed now, and what we're going to do is, we're going to modify the um, actual file for the payload. So if you get hello.bin and um, once you've downloaded it, you want to drag and drop it into the payloads folder here. So if you've installed HXD, you can go like this and we can attempt to change the IP. I myself um, found it easier to just use the IP that was hard coded in there. So you guys can do the same if you'd like, but um, otherwise, if you want to edit it and change it to your actual PS4's IP for whatever reason, you can open it up so double click on it and if you go control F type 192 and it will take you to where we've got the IP here so you can change that number there or this number here as well depending on if you are going through a router or not and you can put your um, PS4's IP in there so I'm not sure how you go with deleting the dots you might have to work around with that and see if you can figure it out but um, I've just used this one here and I've made my PS4 this IP so I will show you how to do that as well um, of course when you finish make sure you press save so it saves and uh, rename the hello.bin if it's been renamed to something else to hello.bin okay now we're going to want to do is go back to the main folder here and what we'll do is now we will run the actual exploit so this will have everything ready from the computer send so we'll start the server now what you need to do is you need to start command prompt in um, administrator mode so type cmd into your search right click on it run as administrator and then press yes okay so you should get a command prompt like this now type cd space and then what you're going to want to do is come here and click in there 
and copy the actual the actual like um, directory that you've got here otherwise if you know what it is you can manually type it in there as well yours will be different to mine so make sure you put whatever yours is then you're gonna come to the, C, the command prompt and you're gonna right click and it's just gonna paste it all in there so if you hit enter we should now be in that directory so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna type start dot py like so and this should launch the exploit so I recommend using IDC's version because here's one gives you full root access whereas Spectres does not so type 1 and hit enter and now it'll tell you your DNS IP so this will be your computer's local IP on your network there might be a pop-up that will come up as well requesting um, to allow Python to have network access just make sure you double tick both the boxes so they're both ticked and uh, press allow so that it gets uh, access to the whole network and now what we're going to do is we will put this aside over here so as you can see I've got it all running if you get any errors so for example it says that one of your ports are being used you will need to find out how to free up those ports because um, I've had a lot of issues with this as well but it's all it depends on really different things that um, can cause the issue so for me they were all system applications that were using the ports and I've had to disable some functions from the system to allow it to free up those ports so Google is your best friend it's taken me a bit of time to work out how to free mine up and um, actually host a server locally but um, yes best of luck with that you guys should be able to do it if you keep looking and you persist but um, anyways on to the next part of the video let's go over to the PS4 now so as you can see here on the PS4 home screen you're going to want to go all the way over to settings so bear with me because as I said in the last video I'm just doing this on the same time and there's about a second delay so you're going to want to make sure you go to network first alright and then you're going to want to go down into setup internet connection and you want to click on that one there um, choose whether you're on Wi-Fi or LAN you should know how to set the first steps up I highly recommend using a LAN cable as it's faster and easier then you're going to want to go to custom settings once you've connected to your network and what we're going to do is we're going to do IP address settings as manual if you have not changed the um, actual IP in that folder or sorry in that file through hex edit uh, if you have then you don't really need to but if your PS4's IP changes that file won't work anymore so I suggest doing manual so that your PS4 gets a static IP and uh, we'll go ahead now so as you can see here I've already pre-configured pre it so I've got 192.168.1.1 so you can click on that and um, edit that yourself uh, make sure the rest of your settings are like mine so your IP address is 192.168 your subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 your default gateway now to find this you will actually need to check um, if you don't know what this is you can do this with command prompt as well so I'll open up a new one and show you how to do it so type in IP config in command prompt and you don't need an administrator command prompt for this one so it should come up like something like this and if you look see how you've got default gateway here so because I'm running like Hamachi and other stuff it uh, might have other ones but for this one here I see how it says 192.168.1.1 that is your default gateway where your router is so that is your router's IP address and that's what you need to assign as a default gateway so back to the PS4 now see how we've got your primary DNS here so this is the computer's IP that's running the server so if you're looking back at the server that you ran it tells you your DNS IP is 192.168 and then whatever yours might be so mine's .1.50 so I've put that in here and um, I've already entered all that in uh, secondary DNS don't worry about that so just go down go next and you're gonna want to go MTU settings automatic and then you're gonna do do not use proxy and now we're gonna test the internet connection so if it all worked for you you should get success success failed and then it should be checking and continuing with the actual testing we don't need that it doesn't matter so let's go back we already know it's working so now what we're gonna do is I will show you the actual exploit running and I'll show you how it works so I'm gonna put this box down here 
so you guys can see it at the same time and we'll go back on the PS4 and then now we're going to go all the way up to user guide so if you go all the way up to the top and watch what happens on the console when we're loading the user guide ready so as you can see here it's loading the web page and it's um, exploit the exploit's been sent so it's been exploited now we have uh, the access that we need and now you've got the option one do not send the payload or so zero do not send the payload or one send hello.bin payload and if you put other ones in there it'll give you other numbers so I'm going to press one to send this payload we hit enter it's connected to the PS4 the payload is sent so as you can see there's no errors on the PS4 at the moment which means we should be good so now what we're going to do is we're going to open up that installation of file Zilla you installed or whatever FTP client of choice you have so we'll open it up like so and I'll bring it over here for you guys so I've already set mine up you can type your PS4's IP here if you want but um, I've got a pre preset one so what you do is go in here and I've made it PS4 so you go new site name it PS4 type your PS4's IP in here the port is 1337 which is late as I don't know why they use late but anyways make sure this is set like that that's like that your login type is anonymous because there is no PS4 set and click connect and we should get this folder like this so that means that we now have access to the PS4 and um, there you go, there is how you access all the files on the PS4. Now be careful, I'm not responsible if you accidentally delete or break anything in these files or folders because if you do and that breaks your PS4, that's, um, that's on you. So be very careful. I will show you how to delete the update if your PS4 keeps nagging you for an update saying at the start, oh, there's a new version of PS4, rah, 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 rah. You want to get rid of that because it's annoying, right? So you open the update folder come in here ps4update.pop we're going to delete that so just press delete on your keyboard or you can even right click and um, go delete press yes and it's gone bam and the dirty's gone all right sweet guys so that's pretty much it you've now got your ftp access to the ps4 you can do whatever you want look at whatever you want just i highly advise you don't delete move or break anything in any of these folders apart from that update that i've shown you because that definitely works but Anything else, if you don't know what you're doing, don't touch it. That's pretty much it. Okay, guys? So, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comment box down below. I'm more than happy to help you guys out. I will do my best to help you when I can. And um, if you have any issues, just let me know, all right? Make sure to leave a rate, a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Peace out, guys. Catch you in the next video.